Thank you so much for coming, everybody. It's so lovely to see you all. Um, this is an incredibly proud moment for me as head of people here because it gave me the opportunity to invite a very, very special person, um, Hilary Coates. I studied with Hilary at Wells Cathedral School and basically transformed everything that I knew about the piano um, in a very short amount of time. Um, she is quite simply, I think, one of the best teachers in the country, um, if not the world, and we, are <laughs> and we are incredibly lucky to have her. So without further ado, um, welcome everyone, and thank you very much, Andre, for playing.
amazing instinct for performing. I really like your playing a lot. And I have to say, I think the repertoire has been chosen perfectly for you. I mean, I like the fact that it's A major and it's bright and it's scarlatti. <coughs> and then you go into this, it's a very graceful mazurka, but it's very sad as well, isn't it? So let's take the, um, the scarlatti first of all. It's over a long page, actually. It's well, page and forty. I know, but I thought it's on the page. Right. Okay. So, brilliant finger work. You want to make absolutely sure that everything works perfectly on these descents because it's difficult. Can you just play that slowly? Is that just me? Thank you. Yeah, so if these are semiquavers here and these are semiquavers, this is easy. I know I'm getting you to play it slowly, yeah. but I don't think this doesn't need pass. Can you try that a bit faster? So I think there is a, a relationship between the first three notes and these. I don't know, I probably can't play it as well as you actually. Um, but when you're doing... Why does it have to be a little like this? You've got such strong fingers and you know, amazing technique. But when you're doing this, I think it's better if this is the same speed. If you're doing yeah. you see the three notes yeah. before yeah. are not, they're not actually separate, they're semiquavers. So. And there, when he was working in Italy, somebody who became a future queen of Spain was one of his students. And when she went to Spain, she insisted on him going as well. Um, and do you know how many of these sonatas he wrote? 60? 555. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> because she demanded a yeah. sonata every week. Yeah. She must have had a pretty good technique to be able to play something like this. Um, Ten years or something. <laughs> so, this is a tricky question. Do you know what year he was born in? I don't know. If I say 1685, does that ring a bell? Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Handel and... Uh, There's Bach. one other composer, exactly the same year. Vivaldi? Bach. Bach, yeah. And yet, this is totally different to Bach. We would never play Bach in the way that you're playing Scarlatti. It's much more... Um, Impetuous, it's much more brilliant, it's got much more flexibility. You did this three times, don't you? Do you want to do it differently? Uh, and so, what would you like to do? Uh, like, where do I do it again? Like, here. <laughs> yeah, no. So, oh. so, what did I do? Uh, you made it quieter? Each one softer. This piano is so responsive. And I think, actually, I notice this particularly in the mazurka. Sometimes you're playing with more force than you need to. And I think the delicacy, if you could just do this bit. They're incredibly fast, aren't they? Yeah. But you mustn't change the beat. So just because it's a lot of notes, you mustn't make the beat slow. So can we just do it from the beginning? We're going to do your speed, but see if you can do those three levels of dynamics. liberties I would if you did with Bach but I think you wait too long here just play this exactly in time Pretty 
I think you could do that. Your wrist's very relaxed. Um, I'm not sure about the pedal there. Why do you use the pedal on the drums? Uh, I don't know, because I... Actually, I don't know why. <laughs> Just give it a second. You've got brilliant fingers, so why put the pedal on it? I like pedal on this. If you like it, then okay. I guess you've got to do it. Um, I like the way you do... Very kind of crisp bass note, it's very good. But can you just... So I'm changing pedal on at the beginning, which when you get home, if you hate it, you don't do it, all right? But just go from the beginning. This is your B. is very similar but let's see if you can put all that into the second half so begin again
I mean, briefly, he's gone into A major, hasn't he? So, really, the left hand. his Mazurkas. Do you know how many he wrote, not that he played them all in one go? <laughs> I ask you awkward questions, yeah. you know. How many is Scarlatti Sonatas? How there are 51 Mazurkas, that's quite a lot. Yeah. But for his first recital when he played, um, people were absolutely thrilled by his playing. But in the, in the review the next morning, the reviewer said, Frederick Chopin gave this remarkable recital last night. The, the mazurkas were captivating. But the amusing thing is that we think they're in 3-4. But some bars were in 4-4, four, four, and some were in 5-4. In other words, it was very elastic. Now, this is what you do instinctively. You don't have to think, okay, I can't five. Mm -hmm. But it means that there's a lot of stretch. It's not boom, ba, ba, boom. And what you do is very natural and very good. So I think it's an invitation to be, you know, extremely expressive. Um, sorry, can we get it once more? Yeah. I think these first two left hand chords here, well, three, should be quite light actually. Hold it a bit low. 
longer, which is special, yeah. <laughs> to a soft touch. Allow yourself to do it. Sorry, time marches on. Um, the thing I want to hear in the middle. Um, can you play? Yeah, play some the A major. You made it more rich, more full. Yes. Because the A minor is very desolate and sad, but this is sweet. Because if you play a bit softer, well, it's lighter when you do like a cello, but just do it, just keep it fluttering, it's just a different touch. Guessing late 30s, early 40s, but he was really ill. He couldn't have made that sound. So I think it, instead of pushing it that back, that big, you've got a tapering phrase. Anyway, I'm going to have to stop. You're really good. Well done.